What's your take on what's going on in the IPO markets? You know, these were former unicorns, and they are just being dehorned at well, this point. Well, it looks like they were <laughs> overvalued when they were private companies, mm -hmm. and the public, the public markets are sort of working this out and figuring this out. Right. And then with some of the other unicorns uh, in, in just private companies in general, there are issues about diversity. And I heard that. <laughs> I heard that. Why do you think that there has, it seems that there has been a tipping point reach. I mean, since, since the Uber engineer back in December wrote that blog, and she had actually left, she wasn't looking to sue the company. Right. She wasn't looking for any sort of retribution, it looked like. She's just posting her thoughts on her yeah. experiences at Uber. Right. Why do you think this tipping point has been reached at this well, point? Well, first of all, she's a hero, because regardless of what she was looking for, to put yourself out there like that, about a company like that invites all kinds of criticisms. What was so interesting, Melissa, is everybody knew that Uber was hyper-competitive, hyper-masculine, not a great place. I wouldn't say for women to work, but for people to work. And she went public on this, and it went viral. The power of social media and the one voice, the one story that changed everything, and then followed by women talking about how this is going on in the venture capital world itself. There really does feel like a sea change here. But there are, oh, sorry, okay. Tyler, go ahead. Forgive, forgive me. How, let's talk about Uber specifically and the, and the quote, bad behavior that has, has taken place there. How, how much has that delayed or uh, the, the, the eventual IPO of that company? And how many billions of dollars has it cost it? Well, who, who knows? I mean, you do see the ridership is up because it's a terrific service. The question is how much better it could be if it had a stable leadership team. I mean, right, they've got to get that team stable before they, before go, they public. go public. Before they go public, right. But here's the thing, guys. You know, v venture capital has got such a great story around it. It's the Ubers, it's the Facebooks, it's the Airbnbs. But the truth is, returns on venture capital investments for institutional investors have been, eh. You know, we talk about those very successful companies, but for companies that we're not talking about the hundreds and thousands and thousands that they invest in that don't do particularly well. And so yeah. over the past five years, according to Cambridge Associates, you would have been better investing in the S&P than you would have been in which venture is a, capital. Which is amazing because that dissuades people from investing. I think we should all thank venture capital because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be able to take Uber because they're funding Uber's losses. Right. I mean, every time you get into Uber, are you not absorbing some venture capitalist money because it's a, it's a multi-billion dollar losing corporation? But let's, let's also point to the other flaws of Silicon Valley, which is the, the Theranoses of the world, yeah. right? Where products just haven't worked out. Right, right. How do we well, clean it's, that it's, up? Look, it's high risk. Venture capital is high risk. You start with a company that's an idea, it's a PowerPoint. Right, and you expect it to get to a multi-billion dollar company. So you're going to have failures, but for that you expect higher returns overall, right. and you're not getting it. Here's the other thing. Last year, companies run, startups run by men, were funded at a rate of 58.2 billion. By women, 1.5 billion, okay? We might, Melissa, you and I might agree, I doubt it, we might agree, guys are just better than gals. Right? Yeah. But 39 times better, <laughs> 39 times better when in fact first round capital has shown that their investments in companies with women in the leadership teams have performed 63% better than their companies overall, the companies with men only. So you have very few women being funded despite the fact that diversity, gender, background, mm -hmm. perspective, co cognitive diversity, all kinds leads to better results. Silicon Valley has been missing the boat. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.